In this video, I will give you an example that will incorporate all of the concepts of my videos on my channel. So, uh, to read off the question, an optometrist finds an eyeglass prescription of plus 3 minus 150 at axis 105. Answer the following questions. So the first question is, what type of astigmatism is this? Is it compound hyperopic astigmatism? Is it mixed astigmatism? Is it simple hyperopic astigmatism? Or is it simple myopic astigmatism? So I encourage you to take a moment to think about this, to think what the answer might be. So the answer is A, compound hyperopic astigmatism. You might think that it might be mixed astigmatism or simple hyperopic astigmatism because uh, there's two different numbers. There's a positive number and a minus number here. But you have to draw out the optical course. So that brings us to question number two. Draw the optical course. So in this case, the optical course will look something like this here. That's the vertical meridian. And the other meridian I'll do in red, the horizontal meridian. So this meridian here is the uh, 105. The black is the 105 degree. And the red is 90 degrees away, uh, which is the 15 degree. So the black meridian is the positive 3. And the red meridian is what? I encourage you to think of an answer. The red meridian is a positive 150. So because you have both positive meridians, both positive, then you have compound hyperopic astigmatism. Is this with the rule of astigmatism or against the rule of astigmatism? Well, because it's fit, uh, within 30 degrees of 90, the, the axis here, the axis is 105, because 105 is 15 degrees from 90, then it's against the rule of astigmatism. Against the rule of astigmatism. So in this case, you have uh, against the rule of astigmatism. Calculate the spherical equivalent. So you can give uh, a prescription without astigmatism that can closely represent the prescription here, uh, and that's called calculating the spherical equivalent. And that's just simply uh, plus 3 plus 1 half the sill. In this case, the sill here is a 150. So 1 half of 150 is 75, a minus 75. So when you add these two together, you get positive 225. So that's the spherical equivalent. This is the equivalent spherical prescription without astigmatism. Uh, this is equivalent of putting the circle of least confusion on the retina. So that's it. This incorporates all the concepts of astigmatism in all of my videos. So the this prescription again is A for compound hyperopic astigmatism. This is the optical course that I drew. And it's against the war. And plus 225 is the spherical equivalent. Okay, hopefully this video helps.